Good evening to my friends, family, and fellow JCs. First and foremost, I want to just extend my immense gratitude to the JCs for selecting me as a Toya this year. To say that I'm surprised and honored is truly an understatement. I want to give special thanks to Dr. Kyle Mehta, my wonderful friend, colleague, and partner, uh, who's given me so much encouragement to get to the place I am today. I also want to thank you know, all of the members of my personal and professional communities, without whose support, I would never be able to do the type of work that I do. And I want to extend special thanks to both of my parents who are joining us here today. I would not be here without them. Thank you. <laughs> and of course, thank you to JCI USA for putting on this amazing event and to the Toya Committee for their immense hospitality. Thank you to Karina Townsend for being my guide this weekend. She's here representing the Michigan JCs and my home chapter of Ann Arbor, uh, where I've been a member since 2019. Let's give her a round. Give her a round. Thank you. <laughs> and in accepting this award, I'd like to take a moment to reflect on some of the things I've learned from the communities I've had the privilege to work with. I'm humbled to share the stage tonight with nine other incredible individuals. The truth is that none of us got here alone. And in that spirit, I'll share five lessons that I've learned from communities working on complex problems, ranging from opioid overdoses, food access insecurity, and sexual violence prevention. These lessons comprise my roadmap for thinking about complex problems and how we can address them. Number one, complex problems are managed but not solved. It can be so satisfying for us to imagine a world without poverty or hunger or violence. The nature of these problems is that they have many interacting causes and they change over time. Even as we implement inventive solutions and see promising progress, we have a responsibility to keep an eye on how problems are changing and identify ways to adapt. Number two, we need each other. Because of the ever-changing, interconnected nature of complex problems, no single person, organization, or program can tackle these problems on their own. None of us can carry the weight of these problems on our own. And none of us can make lasting change without each other. When we succeed at managing complex problems, it isn't because Superman flies in and takes care of them. It is because we share knowledge and energy to create pathways for action. Number three, time is a scarce resource. We each only have 24 hours in a day. We can't possibly know about every aspect of every problem that we care about or what everyone else is doing to address them. We have to be strategic about how we work together. Find the people that operate at the nexus of multiple groups. They can make it easier to move information. Building trusting, supportive, and inclusive communities makes it possible for people to combine their efforts, experiences, and know-how to authentically collaborate for solutions. Being intentional, learning to depend on each other's strengths, allows us to form collaborations that move towards progress together. Number four, diversity is essential. Groups that bring people with different knowledge, experiences, and backgrounds together generate the most innovative and lasting strategies for change. As a researcher, some of the science that excites me the most um, has empirically shown that groups with higher diversity are better at solving problems. Let that sink in for a moment. The more diverse your group is, the better strategies, creative efforts, and products you can create. Number five, honor lived experience. People closest to the problems we care about are experts and have keen intuition about what is likely to be successful and what is not. People who have experienced hunger, who have lived with environmental hazards in their neighborhoods, who have experienced opioid dependence, are experts in these problems and the systems that surround them. Listen to them. I'll leave you with a call to action. Please take a moment to look around this room. Take in all of the knowledge, skills, and capacities we have here tonight. And I know it's a lot. The JCs are notorious overachievers. <laughs> Think about what you could accomplish if we were all working together. And when you go home, look again at your community and your workplace. Think about your friends and neighbors and colleagues and even the people you often disagree with. What could you do if you were all working together? Thank you. Thank you.